there is no violence happening as of yet, but it is a white minority deciding that they're not going to listen to the will of the people in their town and coup the government. This story by Lee Hedgepeth that broke last week is just really wild stuff out of New Bern, Alabama, where uh, a small black majority town that has always been governed by the white minority without elections, <laughs> which I don't even know how you do that, uh, but they have over the, uh, you know, for decades, the mayorship and the council has just been handed down from friend to friend among the white minority in the town without any election. And so Patrick Braxton, he decided that he wanted to run for mayor in 2020. And, you know, he went to the uh, current officials of the town at that time and, you know, inquired about the process for, uh, you know, having an election and uh, and for being a candidate in said election. And he got no answers from the incumbent uh, regime. And so he ended up going to, uh, you know, some state level authorities and figuring out how to run. And so he did that. He filed all the paperwork, he paid all of the fees, and he was able to get on the ballot. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, previous mayor, uh, Woody Stokes, having never had to run for an election despite being mayor, didn't file any of the paperwork, didn't pay any of the fees to be on the ballot. And so he wasn't. And so Patrick Braxton was elected mayor of New Bern, Alabama in 2020, a small town of 275 people in the Black Belt in Alabama. And uh, following that, the, <laughs> the the former government just decided, nah, we're not going to do that. And uh, they ignored the election. They did not allow him into the mayor's office. They did not allow him to appoint a council since nobody else ran for council Nobody else ran for council in New Bern, and so the process then, under uh, the you know the the way that New Bern is set up, is for the mayor to appoint the council. So he appointed the council, and the the incumbents just ignored all of that, and then uh, you know did these weird maneuvers, and now now they're saying that no, actually we had a different election and we won that election. Uh, it's it's really wild stuff that's going on down there in this town uh, because in the last official uh, official election in New Bern, Alabama in 2020 uh, for the municipal offices, Patrick Braxton won. He won the election because he was the only person on the ballot and uh, uh, and and he's a black man and the the white minority in the town of New Bern just decided we're not going to abide by the results of the election. And so he has been fighting a three year legal battle. Patrick Braxton has the rightful mayor of New Bern, Alabama, to uh, basically get the government to come in and uh, and, and mandate and and uh, uh throw down an injunction on the previous government in New Bern uh, so that he can assume <laughs> his office. Um, I, I, you know, I really don't know what else to say other than, holy crap, how is this happening in, you know, the year of our Lord 2023? This is really wild stuff. And, and it's, it's, it's the kind of stuff that, that you hear, that you read about that happened uh, during redemption in the South after Reconstruction fell. Um, you know, the, the after Reconstruction ended and the uh, the North pulled out the troops, uh, the you know, the, in in states and cities and municipalities and towns across the South, uh, the, the white minority. And in some places, the white majority began to uh, once again 
deprive our black brothers and sisters of the right to vote and hold offices. Uh, one of the most, you know, one of the biggest um, events of that, that that happened in Alabama was in Eufaula, where uh, dozens of people were murdered by white supremacists in, what was it, 18, 1874, uh, because they were voting. And in 1874, uh, that election, some... If I remember correctly, 4,000 black folks voted in and around Eufaula. And in the following election, only 10 did after the massacre in Eufaula by, uh, uh, by the White Citizens League. And so obviously, thankfully, there is no massacre in New Bern, Alabama. There is no violence happening as of yet. Uh, but it is, uh, it, it is a, uh, you know, uh, a white minority deciding that they're not going to listen to the will of the people in their town and um and, and coup the government but uh you know the secretary of state has nothing nothing to say about this um neither does the attorney general or anything like that there's a lot more to this story and a lot more detail so i'm just going to point you to lee's reporting um on it i mean it's a fascinating story and amazing that nobody else in the media in alabama has picked up on this in the last three years but uh go to his website treadbylee.com treadbylee.com and uh read that story because it's it's some wild stuff Absolutely. Yeah. Great reporting there by Lee. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, saddened but not surprised that nobody in uh, official capacity really had much comment. I I'll say that the state rep and the state senator for the area, uh, Singleton and Travis, they both did speak to Lee and they both had, I thought, you know, good comments. But, um, you know, the secretary of state had nothing to say. And that's really wild to me. I mean, like you said, you had basically a town coup occur in this state. Where is the state government here? You know, it's uh, that's that's very disturbing that this would happen. And, you know, we all know small town rural politics can be pretty brutal. But, uh, you know, that takes the cake, uh, an actual coup. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 